Do you ever have FOMO on top of FOMO like I do? Well, when that happens, I pre-order CGC slabbed comic books. Hey there, today I have a CGC unboxing video and in this video I'm going to open up these three orders that all contain CGC slab comic books. Now one order is a single slab that I won off of eBay. Pretty straightforward, an example of me not wanting to gamble on a raw book and getting it in the 9.8 thinking I got a good deal on a slab. Pretty typical bidding on slabs. And then the other two orders are books that I pre-ordered that I thought were really, let's just say, uh, dynamic, engaging, possible cover of the year sort of comic books. And I wanted to secure these store exclusive covers. But not only that, I decided to pre-order them in a CGC 9.8. Then lastly, I have kind of a wild card. But I think this one could be a little fun. Uh, there was a book that I ordered directly from Art Germ Collectibles, and I'll explain a little bit more about that order when I get to it, but it was more of a gamble to buy at a lesser grade where it's the minimum grade, but it could be higher, and it was a little bit less expensive. And I didn't really make that decision consciously among the other grades. I ended up buying it because it was the only tier that was available and I knew that I had to have uh, the cover and figured instead of paying the pre-order prices for the raw book, I would go ahead and pay a little bit more and get the book uh, slabbed and signed by Archer himself. So I want to get to the unboxing. We have uh, different kind of flavors or different ways that I would say one would approach seeking out and buying graded comic books. I think for the most part, you know, just buying them already slabbed at auction or, or a buy it now situation and we've all kind of experienced that but the pre-ordering of books in a specific grade or at a minimum grade a lot of times you'll see stores offer the book already graded but it's like 9.6 or higher i think dynamic forces does this a lot where you can pre-order a book graded and then they'll i guess randomly send you a 9.6 or a 9.8 and the value discrepancy between those grades, to me, it's too huge to just go ahead and gamble. And I've never done that before. So the book with Art Germ is a gamble that I took. But I did feel like even if I were to get the book at the minimum grade offered at that tier, I would still be very happy with it. And I think this has happened to me before, particularly with the Todd McFarlane books, where if you get a signature series version of a comic book, Yes, ultimately the condition and the grade matters, 100%, I believe that wholeheartedly. But there's also something about acquiring it signed where if you have it for the PC, maybe the grade isn't as important to you as it once was. And it's not to sort of preemptively make excuses for uh, the book if it does come back in the lower grade, but it doesn't necessarily diminish the collectible, the signature, especially if it's of a, a creator that you love or somebody as legendary as McFarlane or I would say as, as kind of a modern or, or current day legend that's Art Germ where I pretty much buy every book that he does. So I'm going to go through these in order with kind of like the known quantity up and save the Art Germ for last. So I'm going to start with a book that I won off of auction off of eBay from a seller that I've bought from before, the Comic Monster, and I won this at auction in March of 2023. All right, here it is. Uh, this is Eve number one from Boom Studios. This was released in May of 2021. I think that uh, back in March, around the time that I bid on this, there was some option news. Uh, I was a pretty big investor in this title back when it was released, bought a lot of the incentive covers, and really thought that I had a lot of these books already in a raw grade that I should submit to CGC, and I found this auction on the Comic Monster on eBay and thought, 
let's just go ahead and acquire it in that 9.8 already. I don't know why I covered it up. It's just not a huge reveal or anything, but uh, I love this cover. It is a uh, cover by Ario Inandito. Uh, this is a series from Victor Laval with interior art by Joe Mi Jiang. And I think that uh, this series has a lot of potential. And it, it, I do this from time to time where if there is something that I'm investing in or collecting pretty heavily, I find it difficult to stop sometimes and I keep acquiring the book. So I have quite a few of these, but this is the cover A. And I feel like too, once we have option news and there's some general interest in the title, that eventually everything kind of falls back to cover A. So Eve number one from Boom Studios in a CGC 9.8. All right, next up is the pre-ordered slabs that I pre-ordered through Mutant Beaver Comics. And I think what they did is they combined two pre-orders into one shipment, so uh, I hope that's what happened. I got the shipping notification that two separate orders had shipped, so let's take a look. And I'm also curious about that because I paid shipping for each of them, and then if they combined it, uh, I guess they made some amount of money off of me, but... Let's find out if they combined the shipping and put, uh, I feel like they put more than one slab in the shipment. It's quite heavy. So let's see what's inside this box. All right, it does appear that they combined two orders into one uh, and that's fine. I'm just happy I got all of the slabs here. So Mutant Beaver will occasionally do this. They uh, will include a free bonus book. Uh, this is Dungeons and Dragons at the Spine of the World, uh, number one, cover RE. So they threw that in as a bonus. Thanks for that. And the pre-ordered slab is a cover that I absolutely love. And uh, I've talked about it as cover of the year for 2022, but it was released in January 2023. So I think that... I'm going to have multiple candidates for the cover of the year and absolutely find this cover to be stunning. And this is Harley Quinn number 24. And this is KRS Comics Virgin Edition. And this was, again, kind of what I was talking about with Eve is uh, I kind of fall in love with a cover, an artist, a character, and then I kind of go all in. Probably a little too much, but... I've also picked up the trade and the foil versions of this. In fact, I bought three foils directly from Warren Lau and uh, kind of blindly sent them to CGC without any pressing or anything, and they all got 9.8s. Uh, this has a 9.8, and I have the trade in a 9.8, uh, so I'd love to kind of display all these together, but just thought this was an absolutely stunning cover, and when they made a full art version available, without the trade dress. The trade dress doesn't hide too much of the character and the art. Uh, it's right here at the bottom, but I just feel like I had to have the, the full art version here and so happy to add this one to go along with those other variants. Now, in order to acquire the full art version uh, in a 9.8, of course, I had to pay quite a bit for it. And I'll take a look at the numbers too to make sure and see you know, have the values of these kind of held up. This is one of my theories that I'm trying to work through, which is if you spend all that time and that money and that effort to kind of get ready for these sales, because these sell out really fast. And I FOMO'd over the cover um, and the store exclusive in particular, and wanted to make sure I got raw copies and all of this, and then was like, well, what if the raw copies don't come back in the condition that I would hope and expect? So a lot of times with the store exclusive raws, uh, you'll see this disclaimer that says, well, um, we can only guarantee 9.2 and up. So if it's a cover that I truly love uh, in a book I believe in, and I'm by like three sets of the store exclusives, and the sets are usually one trade and one full art, and what if they all come back and they're all nine fours and nine sixes and I just don't feel comfortable sending them to CGC, then what? You know, and, and this is where what I should have done, probably, uh, you know, you've seen the numbers now and, and you can react to them, but I could have just waited it out. I could have waited for not only these books to get into collector's hands and potentially, 
resellers, but also folks that have had a chance to get the raw books and send those to CGC. This pre-ordered slab, it's not one of those like situations where it only exists in a CGC 9.8. You could have bought the raw set, sent them to CGC, it goes out online for auction, and I could have just waited out and purchased it uh, just like I would of the Eve number one book or any other slab. But I feel like I was invested in the book already and wanted to lock in and guarantee that grade. And what ended up happening for me is I did buy one set of the raw, so I had the trade and a full art. And the trade to me when I graded it was a 9.8 and the full art was not. And I sent the full art into CGC and got the 9.8. So that was my personal copy, my own raw book that I got graded. But I have a raw of the full art just in my PC that I don't feel like could get a 9.8. So that's where, on one hand, I'm glad I locked in the full art version in a 9.8 but for the amount of money, I could probably could have just waited it out. But then also what ends up happening is the FOMO dies out. I almost like forget these books that I'm so attracted to, and then I forget to buy them, but is it really forgetting? I basically have lost interest at that point. So uh, let me get to the other two books because I ended up pre-ordering both the trade and the full art in a CGC 9.8. And it was for another book and another character. And maybe there's a book behind me that's going to give you a clue as far as which one this is. Uh, again, from Mutant Beaver Comics, I pre-ordered these. Wow, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it is Action Comics 1051, another Warren Lau cover, uh, labeled by CGC as the KRS Comics Edition. And this is the Action 1051 with the Trade, uh, the exclusive Warren Lau Karras Comics Edition in a 9.8. Just stunning. And then in addition to that, uh, and it's interesting here, this is the full art, and this is the Karras Comics quote-unquote Virgin Edition cover by Warren Lau. Um, hopefully you can see the difference here. So this one is the full art that is zoomed out so that's kind of interesting. I like this and I have some store exclusive variants where it is a little bit of a different book and I kind of like that. I like that it's the same art, different style. This actually looks framed better with the trade, with it being close up. Whereas this one where you have the full art version, I like that without the trade. So this is very, very nice. Uh, I love it. The, really, the uh, I was saying that the... The Warren Lau Harley Quinn 24, uh, definitely a candidate for a cover of the year, but now Action Comics 1051 um, is, I mean, it's Warren Lau again. Uh, huge fan here. Uh, please keep up the great work. Just an absolute awesome rendition of Power Girl on the cover of Action Comics 1051. All right. The last one, like I said, will be a bit of a wild card because... I don't know what grade it will be. So let me explain just a little bit further. This book was offered through Art Germ Collectibles. It is a, another full art one in a hundred variant. And when I was doing my research as far as pre-ordering, I wanted to secure a one in a hundred copy and I couldn't find it. And I used all of my tricks, all of my methods to try and track down uh, retailer incentives, exclusives and so forth. And I was just running out of luck and I couldn't find it. Yes, there's a lot of eBay pre-sales, but I don't always trust them because I feel like if they don't acquire it or they maybe are trying to sell, you know, cover A's and cover B's in order to unlock those incentives and they don't sell as much, typically those eBay pre-sales, the seller will just straight up cancel those incentive pre-orders. So I get a little nervous where I feel like, okay, I, I've locked in a, a one in a hundred at whatever it was, a hundred bucks or 150, but I didn't feel comfortable doing that through eBay. What I found was this particular one in a hundred was selling above ratio in pre-order. And in some cases it was selling as high as 200 or $250 just for the raw one in a hundred. And again, the grade is not guaranteed. And I'm not trying to make excuses here, but I'm just trying to give you kind of my thought process around why I did what I did. 
basically what I figured was if the book was selling in a pre-order for that amount of money, would I be willing to accept possibly a lesser grade but already slabbed with a confirmed yellow label signed by the artist Art Germ? And I just felt like if I'm going to go all in and spend the money, this is a viable option. And the way that this works in these cases is on Art Germ collectibles, and I think other artist direct online stores will do this as well, is that they have different tiers. So it's like, here's a locked in guaranteed 9.8, and then there's a 9.6 or above, and a 9.4 or above. So I imagine what ends up happening is they'll sign a bunch, they're a certified dealer, they'll send it off for grading, they'll come back, they'll get some number of these books in the grades, and then figure out, okay, well, uh, we got three nine fours, three nine sixes, three nine eights, so we'll distribute those evenly across the three tiers. But what I'm hoping is, let's say they all came back 9.8s, which I doubt, then the folks that ordered the 9.4 would also get a 9.8. And I hope that makes sense. But in reality, what I was trying to do is figure out if I'm going to spend the money, would I be willing to accept the book in a CGC 9.4? So that was kind of the thought process. I want to go ahead and open it up. If it's a 9.4, I'm perfectly happy with that. But let's see if I got a higher grade because it was a minimum 9.4 or above. And I was able to save a little bit of money by not buying the 9.8 outright. Again, that tier was sold out anyway, so I didn't even have the choice. But it was listed at a higher price. So it made me feel a little bit better about spending the money at the 9.4 tier but it's time to find out, get this thing open and see which grade I got. All right, the moment of truth. I'm gonna try and unwrap this so that I can't see the grade. Well, that'll be fun. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm very content with this being a 9.4. I'm fully expecting it to be a 9.4. Um, I keep saying that because I would love for it to be a 9.8 or 9.6, but here we go. This is Sins of Sinister, number one from March 2023. And I think I failed to mention this too. All uh, three of these books that I pre-ordered, I pre-ordered back in 2022. Uh, so I bought them way ahead of time, gave these different online outlets my money, and it sat, and I crossed my fingers. And that's another thing when you do the pre-order, whereas the Eve number one I got off eBay, I bought it. In March and a couple days later it was shipped arrived in my house pretty easy straightforward so I could have done that with these books too but wanted to secure them and paid the price for it I, I don't know why I'm so nervous like I, I said I'd be happy with the 9.4 and I bought it at the 9.4 tier so I'm fully expecting it to be a 9.4 but let's see once and for all and I'm gonna let you see this first this is sins of sinister number one from March 20. 20 and it's a 9.8 all right <laughs> uh well i don't even know where to begin uh first of all gorgeous art germ signature placed very well off like in emma's cape not you know right across her face or anything so great choice on that uh the gamble paid off uh un unreal uh i'm so happy this this was amazing like i said this one in a hundred you know, you'll see the prices and the values now, but at the time that I placed the order, the raw one in a hundred was selling for just about as much as what I paid for this in a 9.8. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm so surprised because it says very clearly it's 9.4 and above and, and they offered at a cheaper rate. I'm not suggesting that everybody run out and do that for any books, uh, particularly that you're getting from Art Germ uh, collectibles directly. Now I can't stop staring at the book. But uh, wow, very. <laughs> I really lucked out here. Um, I had I had no clue. There was nothing in the order details. Nothing. There was no email notification saying congratulations, you ordered a 9.4, but we're going to send you a 9.8 instead. Uh, it really, like I said, is probably as I described where there's some lot of books that they send out based on the orders. Uh, so one of them was mine. It comes back. They see what what they have and, and basically 
divvy it up and send it out. So I, I man, thank you, Art Germ. Uh, <laughs> just a absolutely fantastic um, set of slabs uh, uh, that I ended up pre-ordering. So uh, I'm a little bit of a loss for words here, particularly because I got the 9.8 on this one. I love all of these. I can't wait to get these on the wall. Um, these are all wall worthy in my opinion. And that was something else that factored in. It's like, you know, I'll pay a little bit of the extra money to get uh, some of these slabs that I feel like would absolutely just be such dynamic pieces to hang on the wall and admire. So thank you for experiencing this with me. Uh, what, <laughs> I mean, uh, that's great. Five CGC 9.8s. One, I cheated, obviously. I, I knew what that was coming from eBay. The other ones I had pre-ordered, they arrived safely. Mutant Beaver Comics came through. I highly recommend them. Check around online. I used a 10% off coupon code. Art Germ, fantastic service. Everything was well packed too. Lots of bubble wrap. Everything arrived safely. Uh, super happy, super pleased. Uh, thank you so much. Really awesome. And thank you for watching. Happy collecting. And see you next time.